Tuesday morning. It is it's about seven o'clock. Yeah, about seven a.m. Seven a.m. Seven a.m. Why? Why should I be awake this early? Well, because. Uh, oh, first of all, good morning. Cheers. Camera's a bit, but there you go. Big cup. Um, yeah, first of all, it was, it was playing on my mind because I promised, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, promised someone that I'd do a video uh, on this yesterday, it's now Tuesday. Um, sorry about that, Gab. I just ran out of time yesterday. It was a really, it was a really busy day yesterday, running around. Uh, and by about 6 p.m. I had to go to bed because I was just, I couldn't take any more of it. Tell a lot, it's about 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So, uh, yeah, I just couldn't take no more of it. I had to go to bed. Um, consequently, by the time I did go to sleep, um, I was awake at 4 o'clock, half 4 this morning. So I got up. I got up and we go. Anyway, bloody blah, a rari ra, and a bloody blah, onwards and upwards. Um, my medication my medication and this is purely purely for one person out there gav you know you are this is my medication this is a daily amount so there's lots of it for breakfast it's a daily amount um i don't have any in the afternoon but there's there's more than more than enough for the rest of the day and my daily medicine is short lookers on. Um, I have gabapentin, cetralin, zomorph, um, naproxen, amoprazole. Uh, yeah, so that's zomorph, cetralin, amoprazole, naproxen, and gabapentin. Um, of varying varying milligoogles the one you asked me about um, no I'm not on that one and, and, and as far as I can tell it's for it's for the nervous system it's for reducing the pains in the nervous system and it's widely prescribed, um, but I'm not on it. I'm on something else. Uh, don't know why. Who knows why doctors prescribe these things to you? They do what they do. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm on, and that's what I take. And I take that. Uh, I'd say morning, noon, and night, but it's morning, evening, and before I go to bed. And that is meant to cover me for the day and it doesn't it doesn't in no oh I'm on oral morph as well um, and it doesn't cover me for a day it really doesn't it, it it just doesn't it doesn't take the pain away for a day especially when it's cold and wet and we've had a lot of wet um, a lot of wet periods in England of late and Oh, I've, I've really paid for it. I really, really have. It's not been nice. It's not been good at all. Um, I'm hoping that Flaming June lives up to its name and at least we get some Flaming June for the last two weeks and then maybe another couple of weeks of summer uh, because I'm so much I'm so much better when it's not cold and wet um, or, or wet at least. It doesn't have to be cold sometimes, just wet, and that's it. Um, so yeah, so there you go. That's a short little video about what I'm on and what I'm not on, and what I do, what I don't do. Um, today's today's list of tasks are. I want to try and get these these spotlights on my bike. They're like a driving light. Um, but I want to put them on because the light on my Harley isn't that good. It's not that, I mean, the headlight ain't that good. The spotlights they, they give you aren't, <laughs> they're not that great either. But I don't know. I just, I just feel like I could do with some extra light. 
I did buy some ones for the back and I've not put them on yet because, uh, and I know I said I was going to do it ages ago, but I've not put them on because I don't know whether I want to use them as brake lights or just tail lights. Um, or fog lights for that matter, I could use them as fog lights because there's no fog light system on the bike. Um, there really is on motorbikes. I find that strange that there's not a fog light on a motorbike. They have to be standard on a car, why don't they have to be standard on a motorbike? I don't, I don't understand that. I really, really don't. So I don't know. Anyway. Right, anyway. All right, I hope that's um, cleared up some of it again. Uh, just put a comment down below, get in touch with me if if that has, I don't know, I suppose, um, what are these for, these ones I'm on? The Gabapentine and the, uh, the Gabapentine and the Naproxen, they're pain relief and, uh, not pain relief, they're like nerve blockers, I think, as far as I'm aware, they're nerve blockers and what they do they just stop the nerve the, the pain of the nerve or the nerve pain being received by the brain that that's as far, that that's as that's my understanding the zoomorph is just morphine in a tablet and uh, it's a slow release tablet that i take but they're the ones i'm trying to cut down on they're the ones that i said to you they're not easy to cut down on not easy to get rid of I was on, what am I on now, I'm on, uh, I'm on 50, I'm on 50 milligrams a day at the moment of morphine tablets and I was on, I was on 60, I did make a boob and I took 120 a day for a while and that sent me loopy loopy loo. Um, but I wasn't 60, I've cut down to 50. I want to cut down to 40, but at this time of year, I just can't. And what worries me is that come, I don't know, September, October, when it starts getting cold and wet again, I'm gonna to have to increase it up, back up to 60. Um, I don't really want to, but I don't know, because I'd love to get off of these, these morphine tablets. I'd love to get off of morphine altogether, or any morphates. Um, but it's not easy. It really ain't easy. You just can't stop taking them. It's not. It's not like an aspirin. You just can't stop taking them. I think the rest of it. I probably could. I probably just stop, stop taking them and have no real side effects um, that I couldn't deal with. But the morphine is a different subject altogether. Once you're on it, you're on it, and um, well, it's just bloody hard to get off it. Um, I think that's all I was saying. You just have to stay. If you've got a good doctor, then just stay in touch with your doctor. And luckily, I have. But yeah, I don't envy anyone on these these uh, tablets. I really, really don't. Um, but hey, gotta keep going. Gotta keep with it, and you've got to keep pushing on. Because if you give up. Once you've given up, that's it. You might as well just forget it, lay down, take your tablets, stay in bed, fade away. Uh, and that's not the attitude to have. The doc, when I first done this, doctor passed me a post-it note. I've mentioned this before, passed me a post-it note. And he kind of, he, he did this. He wrote on this little note. He folded it over, went like that, and then passed me it across the... Um, across the table and I just thought it was kind of like a recommendation for a medicine or something and on this bit of paper now this was four and a half years ago I think four years two months um, not that I'm counting and on that bit of paper it said stay positive and I was already a positive fella I'm, not, I'm always been a positive fella I always have been a positive fella I do have my downsides, but I do have my positive side that keeps going. Um, and it's not easy. Um, I'll leave that there because, you know, it can get pretty deep, can't it? Uh, 
but my point is you've just got to keep trying you if you don't like one medicine you've got to try and have another one if you don't think that one medicine is working you've got to try something else because not all medicines work for all people um, all remedies aren't for everyone um, so just keep trying, keep going back. If you're not happy with one medicine, go back to your doctor. So I'm not happy with this one. I want to try something else. If he says to you, well, there isn't anything else, he's lying because there is. There's so many different fucking drugs out there for so many different things. I mean, the medicine market is, is a, you know, it's a billion dollar market. They don't make the, just one aspirin. Um, but anyway, this is very specific, aimed at you, Gav. Um, anybody else watching it I hope they've got something out of it but this is about the drugs I take for um, my serious back my serious spine condition if you like I'm never gonna get better I'm never gonna get better they've told me that right from the word go I won't get better I will only get worse um, so it's just a matter of managing the pain um, as best I can uh, and that that's all there is to it I do realize that and um, I'm not looking forward to the day that I can't move around because that will be a very sad day for everyone in, for everyone I'll leave it at that I keep saying I'll leave it at that and I keep going but I'll leave it at that and in saying that I'll see you next time all right Right, the next video that's coming up is going to be about a um, something for the bike, something for the Harley. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving it at that. I'll catch you later. You take care of yourselves out there, and I'll be back soon.